What's up guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. Today we've turned this into the Bronco Garage. What are we going to do with these three Broncos? First, let's start off and give you a rundown of what we got here in the garage today. First of all, right here we've got a first edition two-door Bronco in lightning blue, guys. Next up, we've got a four-door first edition Bronco, also in lightning blue but its paint job isn't quite the same as this two-door over here. We'll talk about that in a minute. And over here in our third bay, we've got a classic, guys. We've got our 96 OBS Bronco. It's already got a few things done to it. More to come on that here in just a second. Let's jump right into these new Broncos. These are 2021, guys. These were hard to get. We ordered them on opening night and we didn't get them first. These are not first editions, these are last editions. But let's talk about the biggest change so far that we've made, and that is to wrap this Bronco in Expel Stealth, which basically we just covered up the color that was there with a satin finish, and it totally changes the look. If you're interested in knowing more about that, our prior video is all about these two side by side, so we'll put a link to that one in the description, and you can see a whole lot more about what went into that process as we do the pickup at Knox Details. Personally, I'm a huge fan of this satin finish. I think it totally changes. You can see lines on this Bronco that you maybe couldn't see on the gloss that just don't pop out because everything shines on the gloss, but it takes a big cut in this to show a line. I think this is just, it was a great idea. We got something for protecting it. We actually got something that looks cool along with the protection. Our 96 Bronco already has a name. It's probably been, I don't know, 40 or 50 videos since we've had it on the channel, but guys, this is the juice. We've already started a build playlist on this Bronco with a couple of mods that we've already done. You can obviously see the black grill. You can see the cool lights. We got cool tail lights in the back. I'll show those to you. It's nasty right now because we took it to RM Motorworks and we're doing a lot of like re-gearing, new axles, some locking diffs. We're doing a lot of stuff underneath right now. But every time our number got called to be able to get that work done, I took my truck up there and got another mod done to make it go faster. So if you like fast trucks and you're here for Broncos right now, we've got a whole playlist on my, I don't know, 875 wheel horsepower F-150 that runs mid tens. It's pretty cool. Check that out. The juice here has a 351 Windsor. And since it's a 96 Bronco, it was one of the first to have electronic fuel injection and all that kind of stuff, which makes it pretty cool, but it's still way underpowered by today's standards. That 2.7 over there will smoke this old guy here. But what if we were to 5.0 swap it? And what if we were to swap it with a motor that we already have on the channel? It's just sitting in something else right now. Obviously that would be pretty awesome guys, but we've got to get a little bigger following to pull off that project. We've got some pricing on that and it's up there. Let us know what you think down in the comments. So the four door first edition was actually purchased by our father, Bobby. You've seen him on the channel lots of different times. Um, this thing's gonna get taken to Windrock very soon. We're gonna take dad with us, go up there, do a little recon, run some of the really cool sites up there, uh, some of the scenic stuff and kind of get a feel for what this thing can do off road. Let dad do a little bit of wheeling in that video as well, but that's coming soon. This thing's gonna be on the channel long-term and I hope this Bronco stays in our family forever. Before this thing goes to Windrock though, we are gonna upgrade these rock sliders because some people have a hard time getting in this thing. Our buddy Mitchell Watch down at TC Customs and Town & Country Ford in Bessemer, Alabama, he's hooked us up with some rock sliders from Rock Slide Engineering. They're actually called step sliders. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna look very similar to this rock slider. They stick out just a tad further. They're gonna hide the step and it's actually gonna swing down and back out of the way. You still keep full functionality with your rock sliders. That's just the way to go on a vehicle with the capabilities that the Bronco has. Now the fate of the two door is up in the air as far as what we're gonna do with this. I think I mentioned in our last video that we may sell it. And guys, that's just a product of where we are in the economy right now for Broncos. Things are crazy. You've all seen prices. If you own one, hopefully you got it at MSRP. We were lucky enough to do that on both of these. 
but with these things being worth that much money and with us already having the four door here on the channel and not having a lot of money in it we're able to do mods on that and go on trips with that and we don't really have to have the two door the original intention was for my wife to drive the four door and us to get to use it on the channel and then us to hardcore off-road the two door because it's a better off-roader but at this point i think we've got to let that go make some profit and be able to reinvest that into the channel now i realize that's going to make some of you guys mad oh you're bronco reselling blah 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 guys bronco not being able to get these out made these worth so much and if somebody wants this for 90 grand they're going to drive home with it probably because i could really use that money for the rest of the builds on our garage we do have five or six vehicles on the channel and those things cost money to maintain and they cost money to do mods and a thirty thousand dollar profit shot in the arm would really help go a long ways to be able to buy more parts for more vehicles on the channel so what we have here is a very unique combination of broncos two-door four-door old school obs that's just not something you see that often so what we're going to do is while we've got them sitting here we're going to compare them side by side we're going to look at height we're going to look at length girth all those sorts of things so let's get into it so we've got them all three lined up where the bumpers are almost uh, exactly in the same spot as far as the front of the vehicle so obs down there in the end i bet you guys are all thinking it's ginormous and it's way bigger than both the two-door and the four-door we're going to find that out in just a second next up is obviously the four-door the new ver the new bronco and then you got the two-door right here which is also the new bronco how much bigger do you think the obs is before we take a look at overall length let me show you something that surprised me and brad we got the two-door and the four-door in here just a few minutes ago and we were like the two doors taller than the four door who knew that doesn't make sense right? does it does it but by golly it is about three quarters of an inch taller sam whipped the tape out tape measure to the fender and you're right you're a 39 and an eighth or maybe a 16th and over here on the four door you're 38 and a quarter so, or, you know, you're really close to five eighths, three quarters of an inch of difference between these two. And I guess I'm gonna contribute that to the weight difference. And maybe it's the same suspension on both vehicles. You just got a little bit less weight on the two door. If somebody out there probably knows what the real difference is, let us know down in the comments. So this is where it gets tricky. We're not gonna measure to the back of the spare tire because the big OBS doesn't have one, but you can clearly see the two door is way shorter as far as the length front to back. It's actually almost 16 inches shorter overall. Your wheelbase is also about 16 inches difference between the two door and four door. So that's what makes this two door a better off-roader. You just got the ability to get more tires on more surfaces. Your breakover angle is gonna be way better on something that has 16 inches less between the wheels. So this two door, it's definitely a better off-roader. As we mentioned, we don't have the spare tire on our 96, but when you measure bumper to bumper, front to back, the OBS two door against the new four door, this is only two inches longer. Like I think that a lot of people wanted the Bronco to be ginormous on the f-150 frame and be two-door only and there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff about that but if you want that go spend 10 to 20 grand and get you a 96 and just trick it out because i'm telling you right now the four-door is an awesome size but if you had a f-150 frame on that it would just be ginormous guys if you put two more doors on this 96 i mean we're talking about another 16 to 18 inches by today's standard maybe 20 and it would just be too big to do much off-roading on. Your wheelbase would be way too wide. And that's what makes these newer vehicles better at off-roading right out of the box. Now, we're going to do some stuff to help old juice here catch up. And you can absolutely modify the crap out of these things and make them great. But when you just have, you know, if this was stock and that was stock, I'm taking that new one every single day of the week. It's going to eat this old OBS's lunch without a lot of mods. Would you believe that this old school 96 Bronco is only about two inches wider on the track width than the new one? 
Now, this does have 37s on it, so it's probably a little bit wider than it came from the factory because I'm not sure what those offsets are on those wheels either. So we're talking the track width is probably about the same, which is pretty interesting. The biggest difference you can see on these vehicles though on the width is with these fender flares off, the body itself is much narrower. So there's going down the trail, you've got a little bit more room. Your, your tires are gonna be out in the same position, but this body is gonna be inset some. Some guys ride down trails with these off. Man, it slings mud and grime everywhere, but you can get this thing a little bit narrower because of that. Back over here on the old school XLT, the styling is much different over here. Where the hood ends is pretty much where the body line ends. And so with a factory set of tires or a little bit less offset, you're gonna be right even with the body. I gotta say I'm pumped that we have all three of these in our garage right now and that we have all three of these on the channel. And I know something's gonna happen on this two door sooner than later. We just got it. So like, I'm gonna let it breathe for just a minute before we sell it. But what a time to own a Bronco, guys. If you drive one of these new Broncos down the road, if you have one or if you or have one ordered or if you wanna order one, like they just stick out. A Jeep has always stuck out because it has the military look. This is a little bit different take on that, obviously. It's a throwback to the early 70s, late 60s Bronco designs. But man, they stick out and man, people wanna talk about your new Bronco. The 96 being all white, uh, lifted six inches and on 37 inch tires is no exception. Anytime we're out pumping gas in that thing or driving and doing some videos, we get a ton of thumbs up. It's just a great time to be a Bronco guy. We talked about all the changes we're doing to the underside of this Bronco but we've also got another project that we're gonna try to do sooner than later. And we've been looking at this glass and it's in terrible shape, guys. It's scarred pretty bad. Um, all the seals and everything are flaking off in this thing. A lot of rattle and shake. We're gonna replace the glass in this thing, replace these seals. And we're working on this thing to get it to feel a little bit fresher, a little bit funner to drive as a daily driver and to tighten everything up just a little bit. I want to do a lot to this interior. Um, this carpet smells like it's 25 years old. These seats have seen way better days. They look terrible. Um, and they're, they're not the most comfortable. They don't hold you in the seat really well. So I say we may do, you know, not a super duper expensive interior, but do a nice interior that would go with a 5.0 swap if we did that. Maybe even build a nicer console out. Um, guys, let us know what you think down in the comments. What would you do? The headliner is loose on most of the vehicle. That's pretty common for vehicles of this time period, but it's not hanging down so bad it bothers you driving down the road. New seating would definitely help this thing a ton. That The passenger seat over there, it's leaning to one side. It's hard to even sit in it driving down the road normally. But once you get off road in this thing a little bit, there's nothing to really keep you in the seat. You're sliding everywhere, you're looking for something to hold on to. So something to hold our tails in these seats would be pretty cool. What would you do in the floor, the headliner, the seats, all that kind of stuff? Let us know down in the comments. All right, soft flex here. Guys, you know we sell our own merch at shopbackroaddriver.com. If you're interested in any of that, we've got a link down in the description and we're getting close to sold out. So you're gonna wanna jump on that pretty quick, but a little flex real quick. Whether you say it Bilstein or Bill Stein doesn't matter, but they've actually sent Sam and I both and you've seen him wear the sweatshirt today, but they've sent us a VIP pack and they've given us a pretty cool invitation. If you're still watching this video and we started doing this at the end of all of them guys or near the end, I don't know if we're at the end or not, but comment Bilstein or Bill Stein, however you want to say it, if you're still watching the video right now and Sam and I'll personally get to you down in the comments, but I want to show you the cool stuff they sent us and this ridiculously awesome invitation that we've got. If you don't know, these Bilsteins are actually what's on the new Bronco. They're also on the Ram TRX and that's actually on the inside of the lid of this box. I'm probably more excited about this than I would be unboxing like an Apple product. You're gonna see a lot of stickers in here, but I mean, this is super plush. We'll read this in just a second. Uh, there's a marketing contact all kinds of stickers. I think we can find a really cool place for that. But what sets them apart, guys, is they sent us one, two, three, 
four. Here's a, this is my favorite. Sam's been wearing this one already. It's a Bronco Bill Stein shirt. It's got that on the back. I'm gonna say it both ways. That way nobody can say I get it wrong all the time. But Brad, flip this shirt around. Let's see what we got here. Bill Stein. Oh, wow. I think that's proof. It's Bill Stein. It's gonna go, this is gonna be an argument that goes on for a long time. Tell us what you think it is down in the comments. Here's another shirt. Here's a hoodie. This is what Sam's had on today. And then obviously a really cool hat. Um, let's read this card. Bill Stein believes in engineering, educating, and experiencing. We are fans of your content, that's cool, and appreciate your love of the automotive industry. If you're interested in learning more about why Bill Stein rocks, we invite you to come tour our facility and gain some exclusive content. Deep dive into technologies, access to our testing facility. I don't think they've watched our old video, Sam. I don't think they know what we do on a burnout pad. And spin in our development vehicles on our proving grounds. They may regret saying that if we go up there. In the meantime, enjoy the swag. Talk soon. Sarah, should we go, I think this is in Ohio. Should we go up and make some content and see what Bill Steen does behind the scenes, check out some of their proving grounds, check out some of the prototype type of cars that they've got going on. I think it'd be pretty cool and be something great to do in January. Let us know down in the comments. What do you guys think? Comment Bill Stein. No, comment Bill Steen. We've got playlists on dad's new four door and on the 96 OBS. We'll put links to those both right down here in the description and probably one of them will pop up here in the end card in a second. We really appreciate you guys watching our videos all the way to the end. It helps us out so much. Give us a thumbs up on the video down below if you don't mind. Hey, and if you're subscribed and you don't have the notification bell turned on, it helps us a lot if we get a ton of views as soon as a video goes out. YouTube sees that as a good video and they start sending it to new people. Guys, we're gonna need a lot more Bronco fans if we're gonna be 5-0 supercharging our 96 over here and going and jumping hills and stuff. So help your boys out, make sure you got your bell on and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.